Now, there are two ways to approve a transaction, and you'll know if there are transactions that need to be approved from your blue banner. So you can also click this banner and it takes you directly to the transactions that need to be looked at. So the first way is to select the small blue info icon next to your transaction, and you'll see the approve and reject buttons. And if you believe this transaction is accurate, you would select approve and your blue banner, the white dot would disappear, letting us all know that the new transactions were reviewed, right? Okay, so for demonstration purpose, let's just undo what we did. All right, and another option is to select your transaction and you're gonna choose edit. So a drop down is gonna appear and from here you can approve or reject as well. So I'm gonna show you one more thing in the edit drop down. Since we know that this transaction was from April 1st and should not actually be included in our current budget because it brought our um, balance down, we're gonna actually delete this. So you're gonna see that delete right here at the bottom, okay? And to get back to your previous transaction page, you just choose either of these two options and it's going to clear your search. So it's just like a filter, so it'll just clear it for you, all right? Now that you know how to approve, I'm also going to show you how to match a transaction. So you would need to match a transaction when you've entered something manually, but it has not yet been imported automatically into YNAB. Once the system notices that these are the same transactions, YNAB will prompt you to match. So let's do that. So to demonstrate, I'm actually going to use a previous TD Ameritrade transaction from earlier this month. So we'll go to add, I believe that was on the 5th. TD Ameritrade investment, and it was around 34.16. Save. Okay. So now I'm going to do a file import, and you can select this uh, icon here, or as we said, you can drag and drop. I'll just drag and drop to make it easier. Just want to make sure everything is good. Import. Now we get our blue banner and our white dot again. You'll also notice uh, your new chain icon indicating that this transaction is ready to be matched. So it's the same as before. You can approve and match this transaction by selecting this icon. We also have the option to unmatch. So let's say if the transaction was incorrect. You also have the option to select the transaction, find the edit, drop down, and approve it from here. So we'll do that. Awesome. So great. Now you know how to approve and match, and we'll just go ahead and delete this really quickly. And I'll see you in the next video.